the maximization model. It all starts with your offers. So do you have the right offer structure to maximize impact for your clients and profits in your pocket? Because that's ultimately what we want to do, right? You want to make sure that your client gets an amazing experience, amazing results, and you make as much money as possible, right? Can I get a woo on that? Woo! All right. Anybody against that? Anybody like, no, that's not what I want? Okay, cool. Awesome. We're all on the same page. So, have you experienced any of these problems? Someone completes your program, your course, your coaching program, has loved it, and has, has got amazing results. They want to continue with you, um, but you don't have anything else for them. You only have maybe one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Um, but that's not scalable, so you lose out on a lot of money and impact. Or, if, have you experienced this? Uh, you get on the phone with a perfect client, and you have to turn them away because your client roster is full, your calendar is maxed out, uh, and you don't have a course to downsell them. This happens a lot with service providers, done-for-you services. You don't have a scalable offer in your business, so when you get on the phone and you're maxed out and you don't have any more bandwidth, you don't have anything else to sell them. So you're missing out on cash every single day. Or have you experienced this problem? You're wasting hours and hours on sales calls with people that are great fit for your program and they're still saying no thank you or later at the end of the call. How many of you guys have experienced that? Awesome. Or you're starting every month at ground zero. This used to be a problem for me. One month you have a huge launch and land a, a great round of clients. Next month you're like, oh, fuck, where's my money? Right? And lastly, you're the bottleneck of your business. You're the only one that can sell, market, and deliver. So you start and end every day with a massive to-do list and you're still not accomplishing your goals and the uh, purpose uh, why you're here, what you're here for. Has anybody not experienced any one of these problems? Raise your hand. Nobody? Cool. So would you like to solve these problems? Yes? Awesome. So there has to be an easier way, right? The maximization model. So, I don't see anybody else teaching anything like this. This is something that I've created. These are the offers in my business. We've got master classes, we've got online courses, we've got 90-day coaching and consulting, and we've got a 12-month uh, mentorship and mastermind that I'll be talking about a little bit later. It all starts with a beta program, though at the bottom. So who does not have uh, an offer yet? Awesome. So you guys will be starting with a beta program. This is just helping people for six to eight weeks accomplish a goal. And you charge anywhere between $300 and $2,000 per person and you do not want to uh, cheapen it. You want to start premium and stay premium. So you take on 10 to 20 people for six to eight weeks. You do weekly group coaching calls. And what comes out of that is your online course, your scalable asset for your business, and if you're ready for it, your coaching program, your 90-day coaching program. Now, I say 300 to 2,000. Um, we just had a, a client, uh, Cole Gordon, um, who just made uh, $60,000 uh, in 36 hours. Who would like that? Yeah. Woo. 
So um, there are exceptions to the rule. Um, Cole started, he had never done a program before. He did a beta launch. He's like, I want 10 people in it, and I know I can charge this. I'm like, cool, let's go for it. Uh, and he did, and he went 10 for 10 on sales calls. Like, absolutely ridiculous. I made $60,000 uh, in, uh, in just 36 hours. So it starts with uh, the beta program, and we're going to help Cole uh, develop his course and develop his coaching program. Uh, and then the next step is developing his uh, mentorship and mastermind, his year-long program. So it can be six months to 12 months for, for that. Um, and then at the bottom there, you see master classes, right? So what master classes help you with is getting people in the door at a very low price point, and you over-deliver for them. And then they're like, holy shit. If I'm getting all this for 97 bucks, I wonder what else this guy has or this girl has. So you're going to get a lot more yeses on your sales call when they've already whipped out their credit card and they're like, holy crap, this person over delivers, right? And then the online course. Have an online course. This is an extremely scalable asset for your business. I get a Stripe notification for 9.97. I'm like, sweet. New person in my program. They, when they go through it, they'll be indoctrinated into my methodology. And we have no extra delivery. A new person joins the course. There's no extra delivery on that. So it's super scalable. Does that make sense? Cool. So then the 90-day coaching and consulting program. So this starting out is going to be your bread and buddy, butter, your money maker, where your clients produce amazing freaking results because you're coaching them through the process. It's not hands-off online course. Because to produce a result, somebody also needs, a person needs accountability and mentorship. What they're getting inside an online course is just skills. They can go through it, they can learn a few things, but like... As entrepreneurs, we always fall off course. There are always gonna be times where we fall down. But if you have a coach or a mentor to bring you back up or a mastermind to hold you up, that is when you're gonna be producing consistent results. And that's when your clients are gonna be con uh, producing consistent results, all right? So now we're starting to deliver massive fucking impact for our clients. And then lastly, fun one, mentorship and mastermind. It'd be six months to 12 months. This is for the people that give you the most energy, that really light you, light you the fuck up, right? And this is where you create monthly reoccurring revenue for your business. Before I had this, I was starting every month back at zero. Once we implemented this, we have all of our expenses covered. I don't need to like bat an eye at like uh, paying my team or anything like that. That's all covered from MRR, from monthly recurring revenue. And my God, do I breathe so much easier at the beginning of every month. I don't have to like go back, look at my Stripe account and be like, oh shit, where's the money gonna come from, right? Do you guys see how this is super fucking powerful? Do you guys see how this is possible for your business? Awesome. So the month, uh, if you're a service provider, if you're an agency owner or something like that, your uh, mentorship and mastermind uh, can also be your service, right? Um, so, that, uh, so you're signing six-month, nine-month, 12-month uh, contracts at that price point or up. Cool? Awesome. So... Does anybody have any questions on the maximization model? I'll take, uh, I'll take four questions, two over there, two over there, laser, and we got everybody loose over there. Jonathan, hit me. What's up, bro? Uh, I'm asking a lot of questions, man. <laughs> <laughs> but so for ours, we don't have necessarily a, well, we will, but for one of our products, instead of like charging, um, so it's, it's like one of those products where it's not ever going to be done because there's always new shit coming out. 
mm -hmm. which is specifically like Instagram, tips and tricks, video, Facebook, all that stuff. So it's constantly growing. So what we decided to do is instead of uh, charging like 497 for the full course, we're doing it as a yearly membership for 197 per year. I wanted to see what your model was. Like, should we do that? Should we not? What's your idea? So how many offers do you have? So our first offer in the door is a free course. And then from there, they're considered a beginner. And then if they go to the next level, it's like a $13 per month subscription, which they're, it's like a, they're considered a pro member. And then once they go to that next level, it's a master member. And right now we do have an offer, which is 497 to get the full course, but it's constantly going to be updated. So it's like, are we undervaluing? Should we do monthly, yearly? But yeah, yeah. And what do you help people achieve? Uh, content and engagement. So it's like getting their um, content and their, uh, their like their Facebook profiles. Mm -hmm. um, we help them get likes, comments and shares and get their stuff boosted out in the algorithm without like bots, like cool. real people. Yeah. Cool. What's your experience been with the uh, charging $13 a month? Um, it works. I mean, out of the last five months, I've had one refund. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so I would argue on that uh, with you would make a lot more money instead of doing the uh, $13 a month, doing uh, the master, uh, master class. So the master class is live and then you record it and it's instant. So they uh, go through the whole thing. It's not multiple videos, it's one video. And then when they're done with it, they're like, holy shit, that's a lot of value, what's the next thing? With your monthly mastermind, your, your, your $13 a month, people are like, oh, I didn't go through that content yet, or oh, I haven't been showing up to the calls, right? So that might stop them from investing into your 497. Okay, but just to be clear, it's not like they're not jumping on video calls. What they are is they get access to like, a, it's a, we have like a channel, right? For like example, like Slack. Mm -hmm. Inside of that channel, there's like 600 people. So if somebody goes in there and like shares a post, um, within like 20 minutes, they have like 40 likes. Cool. So, yeah. but it's not like they're, they're, they don't have access. Like a, we're not in here, like on zoom coaching people. Yeah. It's like literally that's all that it is. That could be hella doing. valuable. And I would also launch a masterclass and then at the end of the masterclass have, uh, have a call to action to either jump on a call for you for a higher ticket or, or, or your team, um, or, uh, talk about the course or send them to a landing page for the course. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, Great like question. It. Thank you. Let's give it up for Jonathan. Miro? Yes, um, I think I already answered my own question, so I'm just going to get validation um, as I'm here. So my mindset block that I just resolved, I think, is, uh, <laughs> you know, I do mindset coaching, so um, I'm very involved with my people one-on-one, -on -one and it's basically group coaching plus one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. right now. So a lot of my personal time and very intimate, and I think the online course has been kind of the blocker. I was thinking that it had to be, because it's for entrepreneurs, I thought it had to be around sort of business principles, but what I'm truly, my genius zone is that I get to lean into, I guess, is the, the self-sabotage stuff, right? The, you know, not good enough stuff and all of that. So I guess what, I was, what was limiting me is just like thinking that explaining how to work yourself through this wouldn't be really something that people want, um, you know, because I'm just used to doing it with people, like having that experience, you know? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> so I guess, I guess what I'm thinking now is like, I just gotta ask, right? Is this something that you would be interested in in my group, right? And then I would get the feedback. And then I guess, um, th I think the question that I have, is, and maybe you have some insight, is if, if I get sort of responses that are not, right, that are not um, necessarily in my genius zone, uh, would I just basically do expert interviews then to get the skill sets and just interview somebody about those skills to make sure that I serve my audience correctly? Yeah. Yeah? That's a great place to start. That's why I used to. And then I've got this awesome team. So, like, we're good on that. For cool. you, though, mm -hmm. Um, do you have exercises and skills that you can just give people yep. um, and they can do it on their own? I do. So that would be a super valuable course. Yeah. Having, because that's what a course is. It's skills and it's exercises to get somebody a result. And yeah. it's hands off. And that's yeah. hella scalable. Yeah. And then people love it. They get a result from those exercises and skills and all that. You bump them up into the coaching program. Done. Cool. Thank awesome. You. Thanks, Mira. <laughs> Luke, can we say what's up, Luke? <laughs> One more. What's up, Luke? What's up, everybody? Quick question. Do you have coaching calls on the online course? Because uh, you, you know with my stuff, like teaching Italian, like I just get yes. everything so from the online course. Yeah, so I've gone through, I was doing the coaching calls uh, when I was first starting out. 
um, and then uh, I eliminated them, and then uh, we plugged Grant uh, into the coaching calls for the online course. Okay, so that's what I have right now. So yeah. like what would the next step be to get coaching in charge higher, like almost? So are you running the coaching no, calls? No, Okay, cool. So just like the Justin Bieber uh, uh, analogy, like it's access to you is the next level, right? Okay. And experience and accountability and mentorship, that's the next level. But still keep it at a group level, not a one-on-one, -on -one, obviously, like maybe a small group. Yeah. But yeah. having me in there, not another person, another coach, that still stays at the online course level. I step into the coaching part, correct? Correct. And so this doesn't all happen at once. Sure. So, um, so like I started with a beta program uh, uh, and then built it into an online course and then built out uh, Authority Accelerator. And this like took months, months, months refining all of that stuff. So sometimes you need to test it out with different things. So like in your coaching program, if it's more supportive for your clients and getting them awesome fucking results, giving them access to Voxer or WhatsApp and doing just laser questions that way, that really helps. Gotcha, do you upsell them from course to that or can you jump from like, you know, the master class? Yeah, they don't need to start here or here. You, now with this model, you can prescribe. Based on just hopping on a call and seeing where they're at, yep. like how much help do you need? Yep. Or you're cool with this? Yep. It's, yeah, we've got this offer. This is the best thing for you. Um, and uh, if they say, no, I, uh, I can't afford that right now, it's a real objection about not being able to afford it, cool, let's go to an online course. Oh, can't, oh, I can't afford that? Okay, we have this master class that will help you solve your problem. So now, all, the, uh, all along the way, like, you're not losing a sale. And you're keeping them in your network. So if that master class helps them produce a result, um, and maybe for you it's Italian, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and they just love this so much, oh shit, I found the money for the online course, right? For sure. Yeah. And then eventually, oh, I want more. Mm -hmm. Really help me get it to the next level. I want to, you know, that's gonna be the coaching. Okay. Exactly. Same Thank you, Luke. Thanks. Luce? Yeah, so I have a question around the mentorship and masterminds, the structure, and then the other sort of question that comes up is on your website, which is where you're off, you're gonna have a sales letter, but you also have your website. So how many master classes and how do you make it so it doesn't feel so cluttered, right? You have like, I have all these offers versus just being like, I have these very core offerings and this is what you can sign up for and you just sell them. So how do we keep master classes from becoming overwhelming? and structure around mentorship and masterminds? Yes, so first question, um, Jeff has a really good uh, display of all his master classes. I don't even have that. I just launch it, like, for my Facebook group, if, if I'm like, oh, I wanna make money today, I'll be like, hey, who wants this recording for this master class? And make like $4,000, like pretty <laughs> easily that day, right? Um, that's the power of having like a tribe of buyers and having these offers and just being like, oh, I wanna make money today and put up a post, right? It's powerful. Um, so, <laughs> has anybody gone to tribeofbuyers.com? It's a fucking ClickFunnels page with like an opt-in to an email. Like we're taking imperfect action here. We're gonna have a website, yeah. but we still don't even have a website for like our company name, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, that's funny. Um, for the uh, mentorship and mastermind, what was, can you clarify your question yeah, around so that? Yeah, I, so I guess I'm having a hard time understanding the difference in support and, with, yeah, support for the people who are part of the, mas the, the mastermind mentorship program versus coaching consulting. The coaching consulting almost sounds like it's more hands-on, you get more of my time. It sounds more one-on-one -on -one where I'm just having a hard time thinking of what do you offer for the six to 12 months that makes it worth it to pay 25 to 100K? I love that question. Can I show you? Yes. Cool, that's coming. Oh, <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> Thank you. Let's give it up for Luce. <laughs> Last question, I'm sorry I don't have your name yet. Um, hi everyone, my name is Isaac. Can we say, what's up Isaac? What's up? Isaac? What's up? 
So for someone like me who's just beginning, um, I have testimonials, I have people that I've worked with for free, I've given free sessions. I do want to implement this because I'm a big fan of how it looks and <laughs> how it sounds and feels. Avery made this graphic, by the way. Doesn't that look sexy? Yeah. Let's give it up for Avery. <laughs> and so I'm wondering for someone just freshly starting out with some experience and competency, how do I begin the beta program? Do I reach out to people I've worked with in the past, a Facebook group that I have and offer it, or I'm wondering how I can begin with the beta program? Yeah, so low-hanging fruit. So identifying people that you've worked with in the past, referrals that you might be able to get from people that you know, um, and uh, tapping into other people's networks, like starting out, just go for the lowest hanging fruit. Like where um, the best ones are through past clients, or I don't know where you're at, but uh, referrals, um, I should have asked you, where are you currently at? Do you have like infancy, those people? Like barely beginning. Okay. Okay. I, I have a number of people who are a fan of what I've been doing and what I've been creating as far as content goes. Um, and people who are interested in working with me. Mm -hmm. Challenges, I'm like, I don't really have an offer yet. Yeah. Um, and so. Yeah. So if we were to take this down a notch, like right here, uh, below the beta program, uh, like Avery was saying, is like helping people pro bono for free. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I think I talked about this on the first day, hopping on 10 um, uh, free calls, free strategy calls, and then getting... Um, just giving them pure value and then getting testimonials from them um, and then uh, leveraging those testimonials for more people wanting to hop on a call with me. Um, and then those people wanted to join my program later, right? Gotcha. So that's where I would start. The first thing you should do, have a good idea of like your ideal client, the people that you want to work with, um, and then uh, figure out where you can get awareness. Like, what Facebook groups can you go into and get your face out there and all of that? Get them to your personal profile and then launch a beta program. Gotcha. So, from my experience, okay. I went into other Facebook groups, posted a lot, shared wins, um, and, then, uh, uh, and then about four weeks after starting my, f five weeks after starting my Facebook group, I launched my first beta program. Um, it was like $6,400 $6, off my first launch. So, yeah. Cool. Thank That's you sweet. so much, Adam. Thank you. Appreciate it. Woo! So, some examples. Uh, Rob Quinn. Anybody know this sexy man? Anybody? Anybody? His girlfriend's back there. Um, so, unfortunately, he couldn't be here this weekend. He's part of our seven figure CEO mastermind. Um, but when I met him, uh, he was making about um, $8,000 a month with just about no following. Um, it was, he might have had a Facebook group that wasn't that great. Um, and then uh, we took him, or he took himself, we gave him the guidance uh, to have over 7,000 people in his Facebook group, make over a half a million dollars from his Facebook group, and we helped him launch his first uh, in-person mastermind, and he made $91,000 in two days uh, from that mastermind. Let's give it up for Rob and his girlfriend. So that's the power of the maximization model. He started with a beta program, moved to a course, then did a coaching program, and then he launched his, uh, his uh, six-month mastermind um, at, uh, at his in-person mastermind. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then Jeff Miller, uh, that sexy man in back that uh, you heard from, he was... Uh, he was my uh, Bay One Day One, my, uh, uh, my first client. Um, oh shit, I outed myself. Uh, so Jeff has over 38,000 people uh, in his Facebook group. You're trimming it down, right? Nice, there are just too many people. Uh, his email list is over 13,000, am, am I getting that right? Um, and he's uh, passed the million dollar run rate in September. Let's give him a big round of applause for that. Uh, and he's generated uh, over $800,000 from his Facebook group uh, in less than 18 months. 
and he's hosting his first uh, butt mastermind. Uh, it's not what it sounds like. Uh, that's going to be in Miami in November, right? Let's give it up for Jeff. So that's the maximization model. Those are the results that you can produce from implementing the maximization model. Whoop. So if you want increased scalability, increased revenue uh, and profitability, and increased free time, implement the maximization model. Who wants those three things? Woo! Woo! Proof is in the pudding. All those. Uh, we got more. We got Joel. Um, so Joel uh, was suffering from burnout and breakdown in January uh, when I first met him uh, doing dumb for you services. Um, and he literally made zero money in January. He had an agency, made zero money. Came to me and uh, we started in February and he had his first 50K month in March. That's pretty cool. And he continually passes 50K. Uh, has uh, since, since March. Jessica Lenovo. I think I talked about Jessica Lenovo the other day. Who was looking for her? Um, she's amazing. Uh, she was already running paid traffic. Uh, she had a good Facebook group. It was engaged, but she didn't know how to monetize it. Um, so uh, she, I was like, oh, do this post. Uh, and she made uh, $86,000 in uh, seven days from one post. Uh, and she hired an executive assistant because she loves to work. And I'm like, no, you need some help. Uh, so that all happened in a week. So that's pretty cool. Um, and she's one of our current clients. Shane Hillier, who knows this guy? Uh, one of my first clients, uh, he fought me tooth and nail. I do not want to delete my Facebook group. Uh, and I was like, dude, it's dead. It's not serving you. Like, delete it. Uh, and then he finally did. Uh, and what that allowed him to do is grow his Facebook group to uh, almost 10,000 members now, uh, just shy right under that. Um, but he's generated over a half million dollars from his Facebook group, and his business is now making over a million dollars. Philip Lang. So Philip Lang uh, is from Germany, so this doesn't just work in the United States. It works in Germany, too, and Joel is actually from Canada and speaks French, so it doesn't matter what language you speak. Um, but he went from uh, zero following um, to um, having uh, almost 2,000 people in his Facebook group without ads uh, and made a little over $120,000 from his group in four months and now consistently generates 50K months in less than 12 months. And last but not least, Cole Gordon. Uh, he's, uh, he's kicking ass and he message, messages me on WhatsApp all the time. Uh, literally, we started three weeks ago. He had no Facebook group. Uh, now he's at 857 members, which gives him instant authority and credibility, and he made uh, $60,000 in 36 hours from his first beta program uh, in three weeks. Um, so me and my team know how to produce results. We're really fucking good at it. If you put the work in, shit can happen. So how do I master this maximization model? How do I sustain this? Good question, right? Who wants to know the answer? <laughs> Through systems. You guys have probably heard over and over and over, you need systems, you need systems. Who's heard that? So, whoop, shouldn't have shown you that, that's too much. These are the seven systems of a seven-figure CEO. Whoop. Going crazy. First, your business and planning and vision system. So we went through that a little bit uh, on day one. What the fuck is your vision? How do you actually accomplish your vision and where you want to go? And you revisit that over and over and over. Without this, you're just aimless. You're like, oh, I'm just trying to get to the same revenue marker I did last month. It, it, you'll, you'll go to burnout and you won't be inspired if you don't have a vision in, uh, in planning system. Lead generation and nurture system. Everybody knows this. This is what uh, 
B- between this system and sales system, this is what ever, every marketer is selling you. Like, we're just focused on, I need more leads, and I need to nurture them, and I need to sell to them. But they're not telling you about these other systems, right? It's just like, you get leads, you sell them, uh, and then that's what I was doing for the longest time. I didn't know there were these other systems that I needed to implement. So then you have your client delivery and ascension system. So how are you onboarding, how are you delivering, how are you offboarding or upselling to your clients? Those three processes. So nailing that in. And then team hiring and training system. How do, how do I find my team? How do I train them to kick ass? And then operations and management system. So how do I create SOPs? How do I actually create a fucking business? that isn't just me going around manic? How do I implement the, uh, the systems, the software, and so it can work without me? And then lastly, and one that I have found that people love to avoid, is their financial system. You should know, like off the top of your head every single day, how much revenue and profit that you've made year to date in your business. 